Hi everyone, welcome back to Viola May Handmade. Um, I'm Caitlin, and this is our first Friday Sews video. So unfortunately, Mom couldn't make it today, but we were really excited to get our first Friday Sews video out. So we decided that I would come on alone. Uh, so I have a couple of finished things. I've got one thing that I have got on the go, and I also have a plan. So my first finished thing is my English tea dress, which is by Simple Sew Patterns. So it's a v-neck dress and I originally cut out the version that has the sort of mid-length sleeves but I really didn't like those, they were sort of a strange length. So I ended up cutting them shorter so it's ended up more like the version on the model, the short sleeves. So this is my version here. So I made it in this gorgeous pink and white spotty um, cotton which I got from East Coast Textiles. So you can see that v-neck there. And so it's got little short sleeves that have gathers at the top. And then it's got a sort of flared skirt. And then in the back, it's got a zipper so that you can get in and out of it. And I am really happy with this. So I made the smallest size on this pattern, which is the size 8. And I am really happy with the fit. fit and I will put a picture in of this. But I am definitely going to make some more of these. I really like them and they used hardly any fabric. I only had two meters of this and I easily got it out of that with the longer sleeve version as well. So the next thing that I have finished is my kinfolk dress, which is a pattern by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. So this is my version here. I use this gorgeous, it's sort of got a cream background and then it's got yellow and purple flowers with green leaves on it. And so this is it here. So it's a bit longer than the tea dress. And it's got a round, sort of round neck. And so this one is actually princess seamed. So the back is princess seamed, uh, as is the front. And the front has this really interesting detail. It's got this midriff panel uh, in the front there. And then you have these long ties which extend out from either side. And then that's sort of what gives the dress its shaping. So you bring those around and tie them at the back. And that's sort of what gives it some gather in the back skirt because you don't do any gathering in this. It's a really simple and quick sew, which I really like. And so by pulling the ties around, you get a little bit of sort of gathering and shaping in the back and also a tiny bit in the front. Um, so it's got these little grown on sleeves, which that made the process an awful lot quicker. I am not a huge fan of putting sleeves in. I do find them quite fiddly, um, especially if you're not like gathering in them into the sleeve head if you're easing them in. I find those quite difficult. But these were really good because they were done all in one. So they were connected to the front panel and then you just did the side seam and hemmed them. So they were super quick. And I found the whole process of this very quick. So the skirt has got three panels, which gives it quite a nice shape because you get it a bit wider at the bottom. And I cannot wait to make more of these. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. The only thing is it has got a facing around the neck which that is not my favorite way to finish a neckline and next time I think that I might try putting the bias binding on because like there's no fastenings or anything to worry about which is not a big plus it saves a lot of time. So I think that binding it would work and I just find that I can get a much nicer finish with that. So again I'll put in a picture of me wearing this and I, I just love this dress it's such an easy to wear sort of day dress and I'm, I'm really happy with this. So the next thing I have to show you is not finished but it's a work in progress. So this is the Vogue 8815 which is this little peplum top and the version that I'm making is view B here so it's got the short sleeves. Um, so I started this off and I was just working on it for an afternoon and I, I feel like I've got quite a long way with it. So this is it here. So it's got two darts in the front and then it's got a back dart and it's also got these little um, shoulder darts at the shoulder seam and I have never seen that done before in any sort of pattern but it does actually give quite a nice shape when it's on um, and then as you can see it's got the little pep one on the bottom so all I have left to do on this is I need to put in the sleeves I need to do a binding around the neck and then I'm also putting in a zipper down the centre back but yeah, this was such a fun sew, and I have tried it on and sort of pinned it at the back, and it is a really, really good fit, and I think that the 
I've made a different peplum top before. It was sort of a wrap over one and it had buttons going down and then a little peplum on the bottom. And I felt like where the peplum hit on me, I felt like it was a little bit too high, but this one seems to hit in quite a nice place. And I think that the ratio between like the actual top and then the peplum is quite a nice sort of distance. Some of, sometimes the peplums can be far too short in my opinion for the length of the top, but I, I'm really happy with the way this one is. So this fabric is a rayon, which I got from East Coast Textiles, and this top is great. I only bought one meter of this fabric, and making that short sleeve version, I easily got it out. And the size that I'm making is again the smallest size, the size eight. So I have one plan, which I'm hoping to get done within the next week or so, apart from finish my top, and that's the new look six two one zero pattern. So that's this one here, and I'm either going to make View D or View B. So View D has a v-neck and it's got like a closed back and then View A there has sort of a fairly deep scoop neck and then it's got a racer back. I'm not a huge fan of the racer back so I'm leaning more towards View D. Um, and also View D has a slightly more sort of flared skirt whereas View A is very straight. So I, I'm leaning more towards View D. I do quite like v-necks. And so the, the fabric that I'm going to use for that this is gorgeous jersey from uh, Spotlight, and it's a really nice one. So it's got this sort of directional, like botanical floral print on it, and I think that that's going to make a really cool summer dress for those really really hot days. Um, so it it doesn't use much fabric this pattern for the size that I mean to make. I only needed to buy 1.2 meters, which I thought that was really good, and. I, I think that's going to be a fairly quick thing to make because it'll only be a front and a back and then the um, like neckband pieces and the sleeve band pieces. So I think that that should work up fairly quickly. And it hasn't been very cold here, so I'll probably be wearing it sooner than I would have hoped. But um, I, I think that's going to look really good in that uh, pattern. Well, I hope you enjoyed what I had to show you today. And we will both be back hopefully next week to, with another Friday Sews where we'll show some of Mum's makes and also what I've managed to get done in the next week. So we look forward to seeing you then.